Kenny? Nope. Fuck. Kenny. Clementine. Anyone that matters to me in here. Please tell me you're not planning to walk across that. Rush House Hotel is around the corner of the block. Right there. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Um. Let's just stay focused. Nothing to say. We need to stay focused on what we're doing. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Uh... You guys would be, be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. I know that, guys. Good. Thanks. I'm not gonna Whatever question your this. your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. So we're really gonna try and walk this damn thing. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Sure. You're telling the man with one arm to do a balancing act. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. Um, fuck, I'll go first. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want one of you guys to fall. Because then, if anything, because if, if I'm infected, no one's able to take care of Clementine. I can't let that happen. The Marsh House is right there. That's all the inspiration I need. Grant, I only have one arm to balance with, but... Oh, well, that'll work. All right. Just go nice and slow. Wow, I actually may go nice and slow. <laughs> I'm in the sweet spot of death right now. Getting into the middle. Alright, let's go. Keep going, you're doing good. It's kind of shaking Almost over there, there on the right. It's an easy crossing. Good. Wow, it's really shaking over here. Maybe they should have gone first. It's not going to support all the weight over time, is it? Oh, God. Shit! Oh, fuck! Huh? Shit! Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you going to do? Um. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything! It's fucked, Lee! Uh... Fuck it. I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? Am I it about means to... I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But well, this is gonna go brilliantly. Enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Um... Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. Time to go, guys. Peace? No? Or am I going up? Oh, I thought he was about to drop down. I guess not. Alright. I thought he was just about to, like, let... Wait, how did you get to... God damn it. Wow. That is a lot of them. Do I have to run through the street, or... Or what? Well, I've got a meat cleaver. That'll do something, I guess. Look, it's some SCAD students. Hit someone! Hit someone! Hit him. <laughs> it's a bunch of SCAD students. Oh, 
Well, that'll work. This is uh, this is not going so well so far. Well, actually, it's going pretty well. I mean, they're around me, but wow, that was violent. That's the van. That's the that's the station wagon. What the hell? This is weird. So they have the station wagon that was abandoned out front after we left the farm. Where we got the batteries for her walkie-talkie. Was it all pre-planned? That wouldn't make any sense. Good lord. Kenny, why couldn't you be here right now? Well, there's someone in there. Should I open the door? Well, I already did, so. Why is there like a tripwire thing going on here? That's interesting. I don't quite get what it's... A Whoa! Hi there, sir. I got us adjoining rooms. Um... Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing that... Go over there. ...fact, Captain Obvious. All right. Put your um, things down. Let me out. Who's out there? Wow. You are a dick. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I I don't have much except for a walkie-talkie. In fact, that's it. That's all I've got. Actually, okay, I guess I've got something okay. else. Hope that doesn't come around to bite you me. Travel light. I don't believe you. Fine, here, I guess. What else do I have? What I thought. You oh, the meat cleaver. Lie. Sit down. I probably should have kept it, though, because that would be my weapon of choice to murder his ass. What the fuck is this, an interrogation or something? Do you know who I am? No, I don't. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. What the hell does that mean? Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? Are you like a family a few weeks back, senator? There might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need. To survive. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. That was relevant to the conversation, how? I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? Because it was wrong. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Yes, Look, it is. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. What do you mean, what happened? Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yeah? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? Ah, 
in a lot of ways, I guess. Wait, were we talking about my wife or Clementine? She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? Your story doesn't stand shit to mine, son. My son starved to death. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. What do you mean he came back without him? Did you kill him in the woods? Looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. So you just lost him. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I all right, chill, bro. Back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry, man. Sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I wow. look like a monster to you? Um. We all do. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. How the hell did you know that? I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. When? Um. She deserved it. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off. Okay, shut the fuck up, dude. Put the gun down before I chop your fucking balls off and castrate you like Castro in the Cuban Sea. The walkie-talkie's been talking to her. You fucker. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. The fuck you will. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our? Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But oh, she had a birthday. It was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Shit. You're crazy. It's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have, to, have kill to kill me. Kill me. Yeah. I know. Please don't shoot me. Hey, honey. I think this is all going to Please. Work. Wait, what? Please tell I'm me. Glad to. 
that. I Clementine. I've had to get this bad, but it's all What are you doing? On, isn't it? Look at the bottle. Hit him with the bottle. I hate seeing you like this. Yes. No, you should have grabbed the meat cleaver. Shit. I miss you so much, Tess. He you chopped know, like off his wife's head though. and put it in the she's bag. Not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Damn. Oh. Oh. Fuck, that didn't work too well. <laughs> Come on. Fight, fight, fight. Hit. Get the gun, get the gun, Lee. Get the gun. No, you don't. Ah. Hit the A button really hard, apparently. Come on. Someone help Clementine? Or maybe? Or do I just gotta keep going like this? Oh my god, my arm hurts. Choke him out? That'll work. Well, that worked. Holy Jesus. Okay. My hand hurts now. Um, take the gun, Lee. <sighs> nope, don't do it. Don't do it, Lee. Don't do he, it. He could come back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. Sorry, I only have one arm. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay, Clementine. Don't worry. I've got you, girl. Don't ask about it. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. It's okay, Clementine. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Let's just go. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. Mm. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I and first off I need the walkie and my machete back and then I want to look in the bag even though I already know what's going to be in there because he was talking to his wife into the bag part of it's going to be in there probably her head to see that. but I'm not sure which he was going to kill you and take you yeah huh <laughs> I can't take my stuff really Wow, game. All right. Let's look at the bowling bag. She's still alive in there? Jesus. How does that work? No, I know. Oh, you already know? That's... That dude is fucked. Which way out? Through there. Oh, thanks, Captain Obvious. All right. I thought I was going to be able to have a good conversation with you, but I guess not. All right. Let's just go with nothing, I guess. Wait, we did grab his gun, so. Holy shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Holy shit. It, it didn't bite you. Yeah. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. Oh, I thought that since I was a zombie as well, or well, turning into one, that they thought I was a friendly, if that made any sense. Yes, Clementine, it's a bloody meat cleaver. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chop its head off? Or do something? Just turn around. Wait, what am I doing?
What in the world am I doing?